Hello and welcome to our seasonal Hutton Orbital Christmas-ish performance. This year, with apologies to the 20th century, this is the 34th century classic Christmas adaptation of a popular Christmas movie, Mughard. Starring the Hutton Orbital performers and guests. We begin our tale aboard a dolphin, somewhere in the middle of the Alpha Centauri system, sights firmly set upon a distant star and a very small, rather insignificant, station. It's the festive season and someone is running really late for the annual Hutton New Year's party. Actually, they're running really, really, really late for the Christmas party, but as it's such a long way away, they're in good company. You, um, don't like flying, do you? It's not my favourite hobby, no. I'll let you in on a secret. Air conditioning, cold air, works wonders. I don't follow you. When you get to your destination, just take off your flight suit and stand in front of the air conditioning. Cold air fixes everything. I'll bear that in mind. The name's Raker, Mark Raker. Used mug salesman. Nice to meet you. Lane. Officer Mark Lane. What line of work are you in, Mark? Customs and excise. Well, someone has to do it, I suppose. All those fines, you must be raking it in. Oh, I'm in the other department. We excise people from loitering over pads. As they settled down to an hour and a bit of banter about quite how punishable loitering is and whether the station guns need a bit of an upgrade, we fast forward to their arrival at Hutton. Passengers arriving on the shuttle from Seoul should report to Immigration Control, which is on your left as you leave the landing bay. Your other left, you dough-bender. Yeah, you! That voice sounds familiar. Do you have relatives at the station? Just a few. The dolphin approaches the orbital. We see that Commander Terran has blocked the medium pad with a sleek black fur de lance sporting a midnight paint job. Looks like someone's pad blocking again. Isn't that your department? I'm off duty. Just want to get to the party. Eventually, someone wakes Taran up and he moves away from the pad, yawning heavily after a hard night at it in a res site. Welcome to Hutton Orbital. Please have your baggage ready for inspection. No, sir, I didn't mean your wife. I suspect someone's going to be sleeping on the sofa tonight. Move along, please. That's right, just step through the scanner and... No, we won't giggle. Honest. One at a time, please. Why, that's a big one. No, oh, I meant your case. Passports, please. Our hero makes their way into the station, their destination, the plaza, where the party's being held this year. They've gone for a Mediterranean theme and taken over a local eatery in the Sicilian sector of the station, Nicantoni's Plaza, the kind of place where legitimate business persons come to meet, eat, and discuss their tax returns, wall-to-wall -wall delicatessens, gentlemen's barbers, and laundering services. Mark Lane. I'm here for the hot and Christmas party. I'm a guest of Norma Snockers. We don't have anyone by that name over here. Oh, no. She's using her maiden name. Try Flossie. Eleventh floor. Just take the elevator over there. Good evening. I'm your elevator for this trip. I hope you've had a lovely day so far. Did you know that on this day the last known gladiatorial competition in Rome took place? I just want to get to the party. Arty? I've got galleries, workshops and classes. Not Arty. 
party. Are you sure? Beetlejude's running a lovely class on how to draw mambas up on five. I don't want that. I want the party. Party supplies are on three. Look, I just want to get to the plaza. Nick and Tony's like it says on the invitation. Oh, you don't want to go there. Yes, I do. I really do. How about a nice trip to Wanda's? Look, you bastard. I want the party at the plaza on 11. There's no need to be like that. Like what? Well, the colourful language. I was just trying to be helpful. Look, you're just a lift. I just want to go up to 11. Well, if you're going to be like that, please select a floor. I just did. 11. I'm sorry. I didn't understand you. Speak clearly. How much more clearly do you want it? Eleven. That's one more than ten. You've chosen level ten. No, I said eleven. No, you didn't. You clearly said ten. I heard you. I'm an expert in human transportation liaison. I'm fluent in over six million forms of communication. You clearly said ten. So, ten it is. Eleven! Ah, oh, fine. Ten. I'll take the stairs, you fucking piece of garbage. Please stand clear of the doors. Enjoy the ride. Get it up yet? As Officer Mark Lane, have you got it yet? Arrives at the eleventh floor, having climbed up from the tenth, the party is in full swing. Everyone's dressed as their favourite evildoer. Alvin's gone with some fanged dentures and red contact lenses. Commander Wotherspoon is sporting a loincloth and a club with a nail in it. And Simoof, as usual, has come as a Thargoid. Oh, you kidding me? Fancy dress? Hey, I'm looking for Flossie. I think she's at the big speech. What have you come as? Uh, Andre the Giant. Can't say I'm seeing it. He heads off to find a room to change in. It's nothing a set of platform shoes and a curly wig can't sort. Finding a small office to one side and more than a little stressed by the ride up to eleven, he remembers some of the advice. Ah oh well, let's give it a go. As he strips and flicks the air conditioning to Ice Planet, you can almost hear the sigh of relief. I was feeling a wee bit hot and bothered, but that is much better. From outside, there are signs of a bit of a kerfuffle. This is the dawn. I want all of you to put your hands up and stand over there. Hey, that's good. Who have you come as? Is it Mary the Plumber? I'm not joking. This is a heist. Now get over in corner before I have a man, Don Juan, threaten you with his big beam laser. Huh? That is a big one, and it seems so real. Oh, it's warm as well. Cecil, I don't think it's a costume. You mean he looks like that all the time? That poor man. My name is Donna Antonacci of the Camorra di Lupi Tre Cinque Nova, and I'm here for my free anaconda. Where is a flossy? One trucker stands bravely forward. I'm flossy. More and more. Step forward. I'm Flossie too, and so's my wife. You think you're trying to fool me? I know she's here, and she's got the keys to the vault. Don Juan, search the rooms, quick! Our viewpoint switches back to the side room, where our hero is peeking round the door. Oh, bugger, and here's me in nothing but a naughty tanky and a string vest. 
What the heck is going on in here? Who are you? Would you believe me if I said that was Rapsy Nesbitt? For goodness sake, put some trousers on, man. No one needs to see that. You filthy pirate, I'll nut you. From down there, <laughs> not likely. Oh, me nuts. I encop this one for dessert. Ah! Our hero liberates a radio from Don Juan's prone and groaning form and speaks into it menacingly. Hello? I said menacingly. Oh, sorry. You won't get away with this. Climb back onto the horse you rode in on, and we won't mention it again. Who's that? What have you done with the Don Juan? Lane. Mark Lane. I'm afraid he's had a little accident, and now I have a beam laser. Ho, ho, ho. Donna two, open a fire. Oh bugger, time to get out of here. Oh, Mamma mia, Donna two, you've put a hole in the side of the plaza. You don't think that was a little bit much? Sorry boss, got carried away. Go and check if you finished him off. Ah Flossy, we found you. Now you're gonna give me the code for the secret of vault with all of the anacondas in it. I don't know what you're talking about. We don't have any anacondas. Very good. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. You won't get anything out of me. Do your worst. Oh, okay then. Don too. Stop flirting with the ladies and break out of my safe cracking gear. You won't get away with this. This is Officer Mark Lane. We have an emergency over at Nick and Tony's Plaza. Pirates have taken over. Good evening. You're through to Hutton Security. Did you know that on this day the first edition of the Times of London was published? Please state the nature of your emergency. I'm at Nick and Tony's Plaza. Send help. I'm sorry. This isn't a delivery service. I don't want a delivery send and response. You didn't say please. <sighs> send an and response team, please. What's the nature of the emergency? It's the Mafia. They've taken over. They have hostages. You do know that's the Sicilian Quarter and it's a fancy dress party. This is a 1011 officer in trouble. Send back up. Well, make up your mind. 10. Or eleven. Which is it? Eleven. Ten eleven. You want the lift on the north corner for that floor? I've got no time for this, you stupid computer. Send back up. Computer services are on twelve. Ah, oh, bollocks. I'll come down there and rip your circuits out. That's a violation of Hutton anti-salt codes. Please stay where you are. You'll be arrested shortly. Have a nice day. I'll deal with this myself. This is Hudden Security Control to any officers in the vicinity of the plaza. We've got a bad language violation. Can you investigate, please? This is Al Scoffit. I'm at the donut store on the corner of Plaza and Fourth. I'll swing by. There might be more to it. Something about Komori and a hostage situation. Can't see anything. All looks calm to me. No, don't go. Arrest me, you big oaf. Hang on, I see something at one of the windows. I can't make out what he's doing. Is that a helicopter? The officer seems unperturbed by the antics of the figure in the window. It's not big, and it's not clever, but it's not entirely unheard of, over at Hutton. Thinking on his feet, Mark grabs Don Juan's prone form and defenestrates him with extreme prejudice. This is Officer Al Scoffit to control. Send back up. We've got a situation here. Oh, I've got my donut. Thank you for calling Hutton Security Control. Computer services are on 12. I did tell the other caller. No, there's a hold up. Traffic's on 2. You really need to be calling directory services, you know. Transferring you now. 
Listen carefully, there are mafia everywhere. Send more officers, and a tank, and the Momus Bog Spaniels. We have a situation. This is Duncan's Donuts. What flavour would you like? Did you know that the first reference to a donut was in 1809 in a history of New York? I've got loads of interesting donut facts if you want. What do you mean, what flavour? Donut. Jam or custard. People put custard in donuts? That's just wrong. Custard it is. Thank you for your order. Your delivery will be with you in ten minutes. This is Al Scoffit to whoever was on the radio earlier. You're on your own, but I'm rooting for you. You sound like you know what you're doing. Only an officer of the law would have that much cheek. I bet there'll be a joke about the size of my ass. Anyway, thanks for nothing. Officer Mark Lane, over and out. Officer Mark Lane, hey? I've got a flossy here, and I'm gonna do terrible things if you don't give yourself up now. You get away from there. Pineapple doesn't go on pizza, you monster. I'm done too. Find one. He's floating past three, sir. What for? No, three, sir. What's he doing on three? I don't know. No one's ever got to three. I mean, you sometimes get to two with little Giuseppe, but he always behaves by that point. Have you broken into the vault yet? I'm nearly there. I just need the final code. I'm really confused. What happened to your voice? You sound just like a Don Juan, not a squeaky anymore. Sorry, boss. Are you there? What's the code? Where are all of the anacondas? Don't tell him. Tell him what? I mean, it's not as if I can remember it. Actually, hang on. It's the same code as on my drinks cabinet. One, two, three, four. Voice print identification accepted. Did you know that on this day the Dutch East India Company was dissolved? Please stand clear of the really big door. Mind your toes. But there's nothing here. Where are all of the anacondas? There are anacondas here? Little slithery things must be hiding. His hanky left their cage open again. Hello, Mr. Snake, are you in here? It's just full of boxes, sir. Boxes and boxes of what appear to be mugs. I hate the mugs. I never want to see a mug again, as long as I live. Get to the landing pad and let's get out of here. Call for my beluga. Bit of a problem, sir. It won't fit. What do you mean it won't fit? No large pad, sir. Well, steal whatever you can. We cut back to the side room where Officer Mark Lane's been hiding. He's crawled through the air ducts, climbed up the lift shaft, and he's... You do know that's not very safe, don't you? I mean, I know we've had our disagreements, but you could have taken the stairs. Oh, no, you again. Just shut up or they'll hear you. Hearing dogs? They're on the ground floor, just next to the bog spaniels. Just don't move the lift. I'm getting out here. Top floor. Four? You want four? No, just stop. I'm not talking to you anymore. Finally. As our hero climbs out of the lift, beam laser gaffer taped across his back, the Kamori Mafia pile into the docking area. There's screaming and running. Get off of me, you mad woman! I'll teach you to behave like that. Come here! Ouch, that hurts! Flossie? Ah, there you are. I was wondering when you'd get here. I'm here to rescue you. I don't need rescuing you, silly boy. Now hand me that beam laser. Be careful, that's gaffer tip to my... <sniffs> ah, yippee ki yeah, that hustle like a mother trucker. 
This is too much. I'm leaving. What have you done to Don too? He's a-floating past the window, all curled up. It's nothing compared to what I'm going to do to you two. Oh, I say, he's jumped out of the window. Oh, bother. I was just warming my backswing up. I didn't know you swung that way. I say, ouch. That's better. Now, where's the bar? I need a nice glass of Centauri Megagin. As the camera pans out to the outside of the plaza, you can see the Camori Mafia slowly floating towards the far side of the inside of the station. One is clutching his groin, clearly in agony. The Don's got his hands round the neck of Don too, and Sergeant Al Scoffit has a mouthful of doughnut and is looking up at the scene unfolding above. His hands are a little grubby. And will you please put some claws back on? You're scaring people. That was the Hutton Orbital Christmas Audio Movie, brought to you by the Hutton Orbital Performers, starring Mia as our hero, Officer Mark Lane, Flossie as herself, Amelia as the automated voice of just about everything, Commander Wotherspoon as the narrator, Commander Chicks as Al Scoffit, Cecil as a drunken fool, Dead Meat GF as the passenger that suggested that our hero should be naked throughout. Don Juan, Don Two. Palantir as a random party guest or two, the customs officer and the stunt signed machine. The actor playing the dastardly Don has asked to remain anonymous. Mr. Dusty as the Don's stunt double. Psycho Cow as the party crowd. Simoof as the third Thargoid on the left, and Norm MC as Lurch. I can't believe you all did that just so you could get a bad pun in at the end. Nick and Tony sounding like Nakatomi Plaza from Die Hard, the movie, which I've never watched as it happens. So I had no idea what you were talking about.